Hello, my name is Darren Thomas and I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to navigate, move between worksheets, or excuse me, workbooks and save workbooks inside Excel VBA. So let's go ahead and see what we can learn. So I'm inside Excel VBA here and you can tell I have several screens open here at, at once. Now this is going to be important because what's happening here is that we're going to learn how to move between workbooks for various purposes. So far, we've always been focused on moving within one worksheet or maybe between two worksheets or several worksheets. Now we're going to be looking at several different workbooks or for those of you who are maybe not as comfortable with Excel VBA, we're going to be moving between several different Excel files at the same time. That's what's happening here. So let me take you to the, the developer. So right here, I have all of my files, like I've already told you already, um, already here, and I have my developer tab open. And we're just going to go through each of these commands uh, separately, one at a time, to try to learn a little bit about how things work. So in case you're wondering, I have four books open, a book one, a book two, a book three, and a book four. Those, those are their names. Those are the default names that Excel of course gives you when you create them or when you make a new workbook. Now, the whole reason behind this subroutine here is, is just to provide an example. And the message box, that's just for output purposes. You don't have to put a message box every single time you run these commands, obviously. But, you know, for those of you who are a little bit more familiar with coding, it's kind of like almost like a print command or a return command or whatever, where you just want to kind of see your results. So I have this subroutine here called workbook example, and I'm just going to go through each of these little lines of code and show you what's going on. So the first one right here is called workbooks.count. And that just simply counts how many workbooks you have open at that particular moment. So if I press F8, and you can see in our little screen here, it tells me I have four workbooks open, and I've already shared that with you. Not that deep, not that surprising. Now, this second one here, workbooks, and then parentheses.name, what it does is that it pulls up the name of, of, a, of whatever workbook you want. So here I want the second workbook that I opened. And so when I press F8, it's going to tell me what was the name of the second workbook that I opened. Of course, I can change this number here if I desire to get other, um, other workbooks in their name. So if I press F8, you can see here that book one was the second one that I opened at that particular time. All right, so we're going to go back here. Now, this one, uh, active workbook, it tells you the name of whatever workbook is active at that moment. So if I just kind of switch over which workbook I think is active, I'll do this, and then I go back here. I just go up here and press F8 again. And you can see it tells me that workbook four is active. In other words, my, my cursor is there, you know, for whatever purpose I have. So again, if you've looked at the video on worksheets, all this should sound familiar in terms of what's going on here. Now, this next one is called workbooks.add. What this does is that it automatically creates or opens up a whole new workbook for you. Or in other words, it's like pressing um, control N or setting up, creating a creating a new file for those of you who are more comfortable with Excel. So if I press F8, you can see now I have another workbook open here. Right here, this is the new one, and so now there should be five workbooks open. So you can see right here, one, two, oh, let me go back here. So you can see right one, two, three, four, and five, like so. Now, these next two, you know, you have to be careful when you run these because it'll it'll shut down your, your developer. But workbook.close will close whatever workbook you're looking at. And active workbook.close also will close it. But the difference between these two is whether or not it, it saves or not. So when you set it to true, it will save whatever you're looking at. If you set it to false, it will not save it. And so workbook, this will just close whatever workbook you pick, whereas active workbook will close the, the workbook you're currently uh, you're currently active in, if you will. So if I press this one, you can see one of them closed. And if I press this one, another one closed, the active workbook. So now I should only have three open. So let's see here, one, two, three, like so. There's three open now. 
and of course I end it after that and we're done with this one now that is kind of how these different functions and commands work inside Microsoft Excel VBA now there's one more thing that we need to show you and that is how to access stuff in a particular uh, sale if you will so let's see here all right everything's set up so we're gonna do message box and then we're gonna type in workbooks one I should probably put the name book one like so and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna access when you are trying to access information inside a particular um, sheet you have to put the entire location otherwise it'll get confused so what I'm doing right now is I'm telling it to pull information from sheet one inside book number one if I leave anything out it will not work so here I type in the range like so where I want to take the information from and we're just gonna put it inside a message box that's it so what's happening right here is that I am telling VBA that hey I want you to go and look for book one and then inside book one I want you to look at sheet one and then inside sheet one I want you to look at the cell a one and I want you to put all that inside a message box for me so if I press F8 you can see right there it took my stuff so you can see up here in the corner I have this uh, term here a one example I just typed in an a one and so now because I put the code in you know properly in this particular context you can see that this is also inside my message box if I don't put everything specifically VBA will get confused do you want the active workbook or do you want some other workbook but if you put all this information and you give a specific address you will get the information that you want so again a lot of this is review because like I've already said several times we dealt with this when we were learning about navigating worksheets the 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 premise is mostly the same but of course you know there's a slight change instead of worksheets you're using the term workbook for most of these commands and functions so let me just try to review what we talked about and then in this video so in this video we learned about how to navigate workbooks inside Excel VBA so we learned about how to count workbooks how to pull the names of specific workbooks that we're looking for how to find out which one is the active workbook how to close and save workbooks or how to close them without saving and how to add workbooks when we are inside Excel VBA and in this last example right here we learned how to pull specific information from a specific workbook a sp specific worksheet and also within a specific range inside that worksheet so I hope this video was useful for you and you were able to learn something practical and useful. My name is Darren Thomas. I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. Thank you for watching and take care.